But, uh, all right, citizen band is limited to 27 megahertz, so you're not going to have any reliable or dependable long distance communication. And okay. five lines. And five watts. Ham radio, you can run a thousand. I mean, a thousand watts, and, and, and I mean, you can talk anywhere in the United States. Some usually anytime during the day. If you depend at late at night, we'd be down on the low frequencies. During the day, we'd go with the high frequencies. <coughs> now, um, you can get those little Honda generators. But it's in the high hundreds, and very quiet, very reliable. It's about a thousand watts for what five or six hundred. Right. Yes. Yeah, right. Like you that. can run your hand oh, yeah, from it's that. Just, it's just, it's just a, a, a wonderful. Get the reports from. You can run it on the car radio, but if you don't run the car radio, you don't. You want to be parked on the hill. That's important. Uh, and have a manual transmission so you can. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Oh, can I, can I just tell a silly story? Yeah. This uh, really fast. So I had a fifty something rather Dodge, okay, and I had a ham radio set. And, oh, I was really proud of it. And I had the big antenna I drove in the back, and I was on a low frequency and it didn't work very well. So I drove from Oakland to the Berkeley Marina, and then I, I, I went down where they launched the sailboats and I put the front bumper in the San Francisco Bay. So it would ground the car away. <laughs> and my signal in Alaska was incredible. It was loud. And we were talking and talking and, and we were just having a great time and all of a sudden my feet were getting wet. I forgot about the tie. And it was coming in the car door and filling up the floor towards out of the brake of the clutch. <laughs> So I started the engine, and the first thing you have, of course, salt water sprayed all over the engine. Oh, no. I put out the spark plug, so then I lifted up the hood, and I undid the generator, and I took the fan belt off so that the fan wouldn't be turning in the lake or in the bay. And then I got the engine started again by drying off the spark plug, and I backed the car out before it got totally submerged. <laughs> But you did get Alaska. But I know, but I was loud. It was, it was worth it. was worth it. Good. I have a follow up to the question. Yeah. It would seem to me that a lot of ham radio operators are kind of in tune with uh, emergency situations. Oh, there are a lot. So, that, you know, being able to talk to people would be helpful because you'd be able to find out information that's vital to what you need. Yes. Um, yes. I mean, when the power's out, which happens, you can still talk. Because you still have some good. Uh, other than the you need some sort of special permission to repeat repeater network or anything? No. No, you just get the simplest one and you get a little red. No, those radios aren't. Those are much less. 200? Two, three hundred for a new two, one? Two, three hundred for a really, I mean, really good one. Lots of bells and whistles. And so that's a ham radio? Yeah, oh yeah, that's a ham radio set. So yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah. Well, all right. Oh, we'll, oh, the same. Um, what if you don't have the choice to move the top of the mountain? You already <laughs> semi live in the mountain. Then you enjoy what you've got, just like we always do. The glass is half full, <laughs> not half empty. Um, well, you can still do. Pretty I good. paid my dues before I got up there. Believe me, <laughs> <laughs> they all afternoon calling and they never answered. And when I got up there, it was like I died and gone. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, but, but what I was going to say is, okay, uh, Would you anything tall, is there anything tall around the house at all? Any trees? Oh, yeah, we've got a 30-foot pop. 30 30-foot? Oh, you're home free. No, seriously. I, I'd go and put a, I'd take a, a, a two-by-two, two and I'd rope it somewhere in the tree and let it stick out the top of the bushes. You know, in incline, they have all kinds of rules, you know. But when I got that snow blower and I kept that street just yeah, there was that order. <laughs> somehow no one minded that I had a big <laughs> <laughs> I was talking to a guy in Japan once. Well, how how tall your antenna? I said, well, it's about 87 feet. Oh <laughs> very good. <laughs> I said, uh, what kind of a tower system you have? Well, it's mounted on the top of a big pine tree. Pine tree? Oh! Every year, your antenna is one foot higher! <laughs> uh, I'm sorry. Uh, there were a couple of questions.
question that I'm ignoring. Yeah. Uh, right. I just wanted to add to that real quick. I think, I mean, I know from taking your class that you're a perfectionist. Mm. So, <laughs> um, and, yeah. and that's good. It's, it's a, it's a, uh, it's a burden. It's, it's a handicap. It drove us crazy sometimes, but, um, <laughs> <laughs> it was good though. Um, but I would say to Ruth, uh, it, you can do pretty good though. I mean, even oh, no, in the no. valley, you can still do a lot. No, 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 it's no, not no, like no. You're, you're out. Well, of you it. can also talk to other ham radios who could get talked to other. Let, right. Let, let, exactly. Let, 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 let me let me get calibrated. <laughs> <laughs> Here, here's your house. Yeah. A modest home dwelling, and you have a, a 30 foot poplar, whatever. It is. Yeah. You somehow get something in the top of that. You run that piece of coaxial cable up the tree. You tape it up there with electrical tape. It's fine. Rope. Rope, electrical tape. Easy. Uh, you get some Home Depot. Uh, get some electrical wire. Number 14 TW or something. You know, it's electrical wire for the house. And you run 30 feet down this way and you put anything. The glass, porcelain. You'll find something. Buy an egg insulator and then tie this over to a bush over here or something. And do one the other way, you know. If that's 30 feet off the ground, with 100 watts, you'll talk to the entire western United States without any effort at all at night. Just no problem at all. Easy. Easy. Okay. You may not talk to Zambezi. You know. Okay. Go ahead, then. Go ahead. What do you live in an apartment? Oh! It gets better and better. <laughs> Stealth. <laughs> okay, so you got a balcony? You're home. <laughs> Met metal railing? Uh, no. Well, all right, right. It doesn't matter. So what you're going to do, oh, there's, there's several tricks, several tricks. You can get some electrical magnet wire. It's dark brown. You can hardly see it. It's so cute. You just run it out and have a piece of nylon fishing line. 10 pound or 15 pound lines, and run that to the tree. It's virtually invisible. <laughs> and it works great. <laughs> okay? There's all kinds of tricks. I'm glad you are. Um, do you have any particular websites or books you recommend? Someone told me about Gordon West. Are they, is yeah. that still good? Yes. Yeah. That was good years ago. Yeah. Gordon West. Gordon West. Uh, that'll get you going. I brought some of his books. If you want to, I can show them to you later. Yeah, we should. Yeah, yeah. I really. That's what we took. We yeah. Did. Sure. Right. And, he does and, tapes. and 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 can you download you the, the 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 questions from the? A well, he has a he he merely and I'll go over this a little bit later when I was going to talk about the test. But he he take he makes a book that you can buy for not very much, and it has all 300 questions and answers in it, and. He's a guy a lot like Dr. Avery. He goes through and he'll explain every question so that you don't just have to memorize, you can go by. Well, yeah, yeah. If, you, if you want, you can learn, but you don't have to. And you don't have to. Yeah. But he makes it very easy and he goes through it step by step, and that's what I would recommend. Something like yeah. that. Yeah, for sure. You just, it just it's, like, it's like fraternity initiation or something, you know? Who are the founders? Let's see. Uh, <laughs> okay. You just memorize the questions and take Give yourself and three say Saturdays. you don't pass. Take it again. I mean, yeah. big deal. I mean, you can give yourself know. about three Saturdays and have And uh, they have things called vol well, he'll tell you, volunteer examiners. But, you know, this doesn't cost anything, does it? No. Well, no, there is a fee for the government, I think. Oh, oh. Just a little of course. Bit. But it's like 15 bucks. 15 bucks. 15 bucks. 15 dollars. Yeah, okay. Well, that's not worth much today. No. 